Hi, good evening to all. <coughs> Today we are going to look at an important topic of the business ma statistics. The topic is ma the testers for the consistency for the index numbers. Before solving the question, we will look at the meaning of index number. What is index number? The name itself na it is a indicator of a statistics, which is used for na studying the changes of a variables over a period of time. It's called index numbers. Testers for the consistency. There are a lot of methods and formulas now for calculating index numbers. So we need to now select now certain methods and the appropriate formulas now according to the situation. For that now these are testers are now will be performed. <laughs> Testers which are now put to verify the consistency or adequation of an index number formula from different points of view. The most popular testers are <coughs> the first test is order reversal test. This test requires that a formula of index number should be such that the value of index number remains the same even if the order of arrangement is reversed or altered. If we reverse or alter the arrangement of index numbers, now the total value of index number remains the same. It does not then change. If we now reverse or alter the arrangement of an index number, this test is satisfied by all the formulas of index numbers. <coughs> Through now, this now test now. All formulas and the methods now satisfies. The next test is the time reversal test. This test requires that the index number computed backwards now should be the reciprocal of the index number computed forward, except for the constant of a proportionality. <coughs> The price index of the current year and compared to price index of the previous year, and the price index of the previous year and compared to price index of the current year and should be equal to one. It is the simplest in the form of this test. <coughs> Last years and the fastest method don't satisfy this test, but the Fisher's ideal index now satisfies this method. <coughs> That's why now most of the statisticians now use now Fisher's ideal index now because now this method satisfies now the factorial test and the time reversal test as well as order and the unit test also. <coughs> That's why this method is now so popular. Both the symbol and weighted geometric mean of a piece relative satisfy this test. The symbol na and the weighted geometric mean of a price relative method also na satisfies na by this the test. The next one is na factor re reversal test. This test na has been put forth by na Professor Arving Fishers in this test. Price index multiple with na quantity index na equal to value index. If you multiple price index with na quantity index, we can get value index. This the test na should satisfy a boy equation. A <coughs> boy equation satisfies na by this na test. Most of the formula of index number fail to satisfy this na acid test of consistency. Except that of a professor, na, Irving Fisher. The factorial reversal test, na, satisfies na by the method of na Fisher's na ideal index. The another test, test is na fail to satisfy. The next one is the unit test. This test then judges us that na the formula of an index number na should be independent of the <coughs> unit of measurement in which the prices and the quantities are na quoted. 
in the unit way except the unweighted aggregative index number and all other formulas satisfy this method this test we cannot apply the and the method of unweighted aggregative index number by the unit test the next topic is the importance of a time series analysis so now we need to know the what is a time what are the time series is time series analysis is used na for the presentation of a data according to the time time basis especially in chronological order time series helps us to predict the future behavior of the variable based on the past experience through time series we can predict the future be behavior after the studying the past experience it is a helpful the business planning as it helps in comparing the actual current performance with a expected one we can compare na the business plans na according to the current performance through which na we can plan the expected one <coughs> the next one is now from time series we get to study the past behavior of the phenomenon or the variable under consideration from time series we can now get now ni about the past na behavior of the business through which na we can na plan the future na period we can compare the changes in the value of a different variables at a different times our places etc lot of times we study about variables what are variables in business especially in statistics it is nothing sales the income consumption production it's all variables so we can compare the variables now after comparing the variables we can find out na some deviation or na changes according to according to according to that we can na plan na according to the situation it is used for studying the fluctuation in prices production and consumption of commodities savings bank deposits money lending in to industry etc it is all about na forecasting of na business time series forecasting technique is used across many fields of study from geology to economics this technique na is used in many fields from geology to economics so time series na helps in many fields because the data is not arranged according to the time so we can get the time we can get the data now for planning purposes for production for na <clears throat> especially for the analyzing purposes of the management thank you we will see you again with another lesson another session until then stay tuned stay blessed thanks bye